What's up guys and welcome to the 25th tutorial in my PHP backend and in this tutorial I'm going to continue with the interfaces and also implement a, uh, re a response interface but before we do that I'm going to do some refactoring because I don't like the HTTP message name uh, it kind of doesn't really say what it's doing it's, uh, it's really a HTTP res request I'm gonna rename it and PHP storm has some some help for this you can see it automatically fix it here HTTP request and for example it also should have changed in my index file where I instantiate it and well it didn't actually so let's uh, fix that HTTP re ah yeah it did so no worries there I think I'm gonna need to just in case, run uh, the composer dump autoload. Just for making sure that it actually works. And let's try running it. Uh, maybe it's easier if I have an actual route that works. And yeah, it works. So um, also, I'm going to go in and remove the the var dump in here so we have kind of clean interface there we go and now I'm gonna create a HTTP response and it's going to implement the um, the response from PSR which is called response interface and I'm going to go ahead and implement the methods for it and I'm going to go with the same kind of procedure here I'm going to I am going to create the exact same constructor as I used in the request so I'm just going to copy this because they both inherit the uh, they both inherit the uh, the message interface so many of these will be the exact same for example the the uri just just to give an example and i'm going to just copy this to get protocol version that i need at the moment Get headers. And here I'm going to return the body Okay, and um, now we're going to do the same procedure where we create a new uh, object in here. But instead of the HTTP request, we're going to make the HTTP response. And we'll give it the same stuff and we'll pass it in here. Like this. And in the router, we're going to take it as parameter to the route function. It's going to be the PSR response interface. And I'm going to call it response. And also, it also added another one for the response up here at the top of my file. 
And I'm not going to do anything with this at the moment more than pass it along to uh, the controller like this. And now I also need to modify my my control so it'll have it'll take in both the request and the response. You can see it also added it up here. And the same way it goes here, you just add it. The order is important. You need to add it before all the all the parameters coming from the URL because otherwise it won't work. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think also we need to run composer dump auto load because we did a new file. And let's see if it works. Mm, undefined variable response in on line 18. All right. All right, I accidentally named them the, the exact same thing. So this is the response. Okay, so no difference. Let's see if we got the actual message. So let's see if we we have the response in here. And we have the HTTP response. Okay, great. And you might have some problem understanding why we need the response for now, but I hopefully it'll get clearer further down the line why we did this. But basically what we did is we created a uniform interface for both output and input to the API. And we're going to use these objects later when, when we start to interact. And since we're using the PSR standard, we also have them uniform in also according to, to a well-known standard, which is kind of nice for documentation purposes, of course, and uh, also that it looks like everybody else API does, which is kind of nice, I guess. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.